Hey, howdy everyone. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I'm gonna do another video today on a couple of things. First thing I'm gonna do on the CF Moto. I've been reading a lot about people uh, disconnecting the clutch switch and bridging it out. So I'm gonna do um, a test, see if my theory's right on this whole thing about the D-cell fuel cut and if it fixes it. Um, I've got access to a lot of maps and I know that there is ignition timing tables for when the clutch is pulled in. So we're gonna do a power run standard, um, disconnect the, the clutch switch and by bridge it and then do another power run and see what the power difference is. Um, and the other video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this, the funnel web um, pre-filter with uh, the Motul oil. It says to oil them if you look at the instructions. I'm not going to do an unboxing. I think that's a little bit stupid. It says to pack it. Everyone knows how to open a packet. If you don't, you shouldn't be riding motorbikes. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is flush the bike back to the standard tune that it came with. This is um, post the first update from CF Moto. So I'll just um, warm it up flash it back to standard and do a run and see what we're at. Okay, so we're just flashing the bike back to standard. Going in now, as you can see. Um, so yeah, back to standard. Uh, I'll give it three runs just to get a baseline. Um, so I haven't run it with a standard file in it for a while. Then we'll disconnect the clutch switch and see if that makes a difference to power. Okay, so I've given it some power runs. I've disconnected the clutch switch. I hope the screen's in shot there. Let's just see. Oh, there you go, there's a multimeter there. So the clutch switch is down here. There's two connectors there. So I'm on the two pins. So with the clutch out, as in as if you're riding. You're all good, we'll pull the clutch in and we have continuity. So I will bridge the wires, which is these two wires here. I've bridged them. So I'll give it a run now and see if there's any difference in power.
Okay, so test is done. Uh, green line is with the clutch switch connected as it should be. And the white line is clutch switch bridged. So there's a big dip in power here. Well, not a big dip, but there is a dip in power here at the start of the run. And there's a dip right at the top here. And that's because your spark map is different with the clutch pulled in. And off the throttle, it dips right down into very low numbers. Um, so I wouldn't recommend disconnecting the clutch switch.